Hi there, Jerome here for another video review and today I'm going to talk about the Dell Inspiron 15 3000, the latest one, the 3567, powered by the 6th generation of Intel i3 processor, the 6006U with 4 gigs of RAM and a 15 inch display. This is my full review of the Dell Inspiron 15 3000, the new one. Here we go. It's 2017 and Dell has made some amazing changes to the Inspiron line. The new Dell Inspiron 15 3000 3567 is a 15 inch laptop with a relatively slim design of around 2 cm. It has a gorgeous matte black finish with a nice rubberized texture lid which is so much better than a cheap looking glossy finish. However, with more than 2 kilos, this laptop is heavy and not that ultra portable. On the right side you will find the SD card reader, headset jack, USB 2 and a DVD drive. On the left side you can find a charger port, Ethernet, cooling vent and two USB 3.0. This laptop is really well built and the black matte finish is really amazing. The display is not full HD but with a resolution of 1366 x 768 and true life technology, the screen is bright, vivid with good viewing angle. The keyboard is very nice to type on, the keys could be a little bit bigger but overall it's a great experience typing with this keyboard. The trackpad is ok but I feel that sometimes I need to click harder to make it work. At £349 on Amazon, this laptop is sturdy, well built and fits in a superior price range. Well done Dell on that one, you've done something great and watching YouTube, Netflix or Amazon Prime video on this laptop is a joy. You will be very pleased with this. It's a very, very well made laptop. At £349 you can't get any better. Ok, so what about the performances of this laptop? Well, the Dell Inspiron 15 3000 is powered by the 6th generation of Intel Core i3, the 6006U, with 4 gigs of RAM and of course Windows 10 Home. This laptop is capable of being extremely fast, but also a little bit slow at the same time. This is frustrating and I don't know if Dell is to blame or Windows 10. So let's start by the positive things. Forget Microsoft Edge install Google Chrome, it is much faster and please uninstall the antivirus, since I uh, uninstalled McAfee this laptop is much faster. I don't use Microsoft Office and yes I prefer Google Doc, with Chrome this laptop is very fast and you can edit docs, spreadsheets, pictures, with Google Photos, everything is great. YouTube works very well with this laptop, you can change the resolution of the videos you're watching and you will not experience any lag or buffering. The speakers are very pretty loud too, which is good, everything through the web browser is fast, really fast. I have an iPhone 6s Plus and importing pictures or movies to this laptop is fast and trouble free. I don't really play games but I downloaded some games from the app stores and it works flawlessly. It's easy to see here that the i3 processor and 4GB of RAM are doing a great job. In my opinion, for basic computing, social media, internet, live photo editing, media consumption, this laptop is fantastic and it has an amazing value for money. Another positive point is that it doesn't get hot and the fan is very very quiet, which is a real bonus, in my opinion. As you can see I'm launching now the app, the Amazon app from the Windows 10 app store and is where things start to be frustrating. The app store is growing every day and the apps designed for Windows 10 are really beautiful but unfortunately they are really slow on this laptop. Facebook apps take around 15 seconds or more to launch, the Amazon apps need 10 or more seconds, the same with the Groove Music, as you can see I'm a little bit bored of waiting. And the excellent Microsoft photo apps are 
very slow too and it's my opinion in my opinion it's really annoying because you really want to enjoy the great windows 10 experience with some beautiful apps and well it's a painful process you have to be very patient and accept that this won't be very smooth at all i don't know who is to blame dell or microsoft and app that are not uh, optimized for this uh, type of processor my iPhone 6s Plus or my old Gal or my old Galaxy S6 are much faster, and that's a frustrating thing with uh, this laptop. The other negative uh, point of this laptop, in my opinion, is the battery life. I, I like to have my laptop with uh, brightness set at 70-75%, especially because the display is actually very nice on this one. Uh, but if you've got the, the brightness at 70-75%, you will get a maximum of 4 hours battery life, or even less sometimes. And simply, this is not acceptable. I expect a laptop to have a bit more of battery life than 3 hours and a half or 4 hours. Uh, however, there is one positive point, is that it's actually quite fast to charge, so which is good, but uh, I don't know how you can get the 7 hours battery life claimed by Dell, probably if you've got the brightness set at 40%, uh, it would be maybe one way to do it, but uh, it's not really the point. So I really wanted to love this laptop because it has so many great feature, fix, uh, features for its price range. It's got a nice build quality, a good display, loudspeaker, a nice uh, keyboard. It can be extremely fast uh, and it's got a huge hard drive and also a DVD drive too. Uh, but uh, for me it's frustrating because uh, if you want to use uh, the beautiful Windows 10 apps, it's very slow process. Cortana is a bit of a hit and a miss, as they say. As we say, um, it, it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, and the battery life is really not great at all. So I've decided to return this laptop because it's not for me. However, it can be for you if you're more like a, a basic, uh, if you use it more for basic computing, if you're a student, uh, if you will have this laptop on your desk most of the time because it's quite heavy to move around. Uh, and if you really want a laptop more for media consumption, uh, Netflix, YouTube are a joy on this laptop. And if you will use a lot the web browser uh, and Microsoft Office, go ahead because at £349 you will have a very great laptop. However, if you want something else than basic computing, no, the i3 processor and the 4 gigs of RAM are definitely not enough for this one for the Windows 10 Home and um, you should try to find something else. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please thumb up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It will help a lot. If you got any question, please uh, use your the comment section and I will be pleased to answer them. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye.